hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is monica and today we're going to be doing my everyday makeup basket and shop my stash for february of 2021 so i know i literally like just posted my january basket that came a little bit late because of the move we did on the first of this year so i feel like Probably half of these products are gonna stay, but quite a few of them I'm ready to switch out and get some new things. And actually, I've gotten some products in PR that I'm pretty excited about, and I can't wait to move those into my basket. I'll go ahead and throw the playlist of all of my monthly Shop My Stashes and makeup baskets. I believe I started in early 2018, so we have over two years, two full years of Shop My Stashes if you like to sit down for a nice binge watch. Okay, so let's just jump right in. So on top of here, I am not done with this Milani Make It Last setting spray yet, so that's going to stay. Um, the next one I'm going to be using is the Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, moving over, I've got, um, this is from a Tri Beauty box. It's just some oil that I use for my cuticles, and my nails are looking a little messy. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> I'm actually about to film, I think, sometime this week, the Charlotte Tilbury video. This is a newer product that I just got, and uh, my Charlotte Tilbury video got delayed because I really wanted to test to see whether or not this flower beauty product was going to be a dupe because you see how similar those palettes are yeah so I still want to test out the flower palette before um, I film the video so hopefully we'll get to filming that very soon so we'll keep those in Let's see, I picked up a new black lipstick um, from CVS a little while ago, so I wanna keep that. I'm going to move this melt lipstick back. I wanna keep this red lipstick, and I think I'm gonna move the sugar pill lipstick back. This eyeliner, um, I, I liked it, it was pretty good, uh, and I think I'm about ready to collect all the products from my last Tribe Beauty box for a full review. So I'm gonna add this to my little Sephora bag over here. I love keeping these little bags. Um, you can always recycle them, but I like keeping them just to use around the house, especially when I'm trying to like get products together to film. <laughs> it just makes it a little bit more organized. So I'm gonna put all my Tribe Beauty box products in there for my review. And I think I'm going to keep this black liner in here. I've been having a lot of fun doing like half cat eyes. So I wanna keep that. Um, and then everything else is going to stay. So, first drawer. All right, drawer number one. So, I'm gonna keep the airspun powder. I finally, uh, my boyfriend went to Home Depot a few weeks ago and he was actually able to get me some isopropyl alcohol, thank God. <laughs> so I was able to repress this. And now that it's repressed, it's working a lot better and I think I'm gonna finish it fairly soon. So I'm probably just gonna keep this in here, finish it, and then I might pick out another face powder just to put in here so that I can use it after that one's done. I'm gonna keep the Dermacol in here because I've really been enjoying using it as a concealer. And this uh, Wet n Wild BB Cream, there's only like a tiny amount left in here. So I really wanna finish that up. So we're gonna keep this. I'm gonna move out the Collab Bright Spark Foundation. I wanna, I wanna keep the Garnier Skin Active BB Cream. I use it as a primer and I really like it. So I'm gonna keep that in. I am gonna move out to this uh, Shop Masse AOA Studio Color Corrector. It's a little drying. So I don't know if winter is the best time to use it, um, especially on my under eyes, which are already pretty dry as it is. So I'm gonna move this back in. And I think I'm gonna move in or move out this uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser as well. Cause I kinda wanna pick out some other concealers to uh, experiment with. All right, and then the PR that I got is actually gonna go into this box, so let me show you guys that. So a huge thank you to Milk Makeup and Influencer for sending me this nice little box of goodies. So they gave me a mini of the Hydro Grip Primer. They also gave me a mini of the Kush Mascara, which I remember trying this a while ago and loving, so I'm gonna move this in as well. And the star of the show, their brand new Sunshine Skin Tint, which I'm so excited to test out. So let me open this. I have not even opened it yet. It's brand new. Look how cool this looks. It's like a rollerball applicator up on the top. Oh man, I am so excited to test this out. So this is going to get put in here. I'm going to put the mascara up on top and then I'm going to put the primer in here as well. Drawer number two. So this blush from the Balm, I actually really like it. I've been using it a lot and it looks really pretty and it wears really well. This also came from my last Tri Beauty box. So this is gonna go in the Sephora bag for that review. And let's see, my Panda palette is of course going to stay. This is gonna stay as well. Um, I've actually, so I've been using this MAC highlight and it's actually really pretty and I like it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad I'm actually getting use out of it, but I wanna switch it out because I wanna pull out some other highlighters. 
this Tarte palette I really really like but I feel like I could get some better use out of some other products so I'm gonna move this back into my face palette drawer and I'm trying to think do I want to bring another blush let me leave this loose blush in here because I feel like I didn't get to use it as much drawer number three let's see oh so this is actually a new palette I just picked up. I found this at TJ Maxx for like $8. This is the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale eyeshadow palette. And it was one of those palettes that like I wanted for a long time but didn't want to pay full price for and then I kind of forgot about it. And it was just like a steal. So I'm going to keep this one in here. I'm going to move out these uh, blushes and highlights from Tarte. They're very pretty but I kind of want to move uh, some things around. I really like this green duo for eyeshadow. Um, so I want to keep it in here. I'm going to move back into my collection just for now. I really love this Pro Cool palette. And I feel like I didn't get a whole lot of use out of it yet. And I really want to do a cute Valentine's Day look. And I'm thinking like these shades right here would look very cute for that. So I'm going to keep this in the drawer. And this Buxom palette, it's very cute and neutral. So I think I'm going to move this out to bring in, to use some of the shadows just for this month. Um, but I've been really liking this so far. Okay, so we're going to keep the Sephora Pro palette and the Pretty Vulgar palette. Last but not least, we have drawer number four. So this is the palette I got in my last Tried Beauty box, the Neon Drip. It's a really pretty palette <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. So can't wait to review that for you guys. And the Gourmand Girls palette. I really enjoyed the greens in here. They are very pretty. I also use the yellow and the red. Very, very spot on. Um, though I do want to bring in some other shades for February. So I'm going to just move this back into my eyeshadow palette collection. Okay, so now that we've cleared all of this out, I'm going to go ahead and put all this makeup back. And then we'll be back to shop my stash. All right, so we are over here on top of my Alex drawers to see the acrylics. Um, not too much up here. We've got the tape for swatches. I do want to show off all my clean makeup brushes. I did just wash all my brushes. Doesn't happen that often. I should do it more often. <laughs> anyway, um, so we've got tape. I've got lip liners here. I don't really use lip liners that much. Uh, these are all my liquid shadows. I just recently did... Um, my Pan That Palette, my first Pan That Palette update where I talked about using these Natasha Chromium shadows quite a bit. Um, but I like having like this right, like I literally sit right here to do my makeup so it's really easy just to come up here and grab one whenever I need one. So I don't really pull those anymore. Um, I do want to pull a pair of, oh, we can't see my lashes that good. There we go. I really want to pull a pair of lashes. Let's try these and I'm gonna pull the lash glue as well. I want to pull these AOA Studio Premium lashes. What are these? These are in jean. Um, I've been really liking when I cut lashes like this pair, cut them into accents and they just look really nice and they, they wear a lot better on me. So I kind of want to try cutting these into semi lash, semi accents. Well, anyway, we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna pull those. And we're good there. Moving over to this side, we've got my face razors and whatnot. We have some eyeliners here. Now, I still have that black liner in the basket already. Do I want to pull? I kind of want to pull a black. Do I want to pull a black? I kind of want to pull like a black pencil liner. So let's see. Actually, I lied. I want this one. I'm gonna pull this Marc Jacobs liner. You can't, I don't think you can see it that well on camera, but it's like a very light shade. And I think it's gonna look really pretty with the like looks I kind of have planned for February. All right, let's see, we've got lip glosses. I kind of want to pull a gloss. Let's see, which gloss do I want to pull? Let's pull this NYX Butter Gloss. I think that's the most neutral gloss that I have right now. Okay, so these are all my black lipsticks. And then this is all nail polish, so we can move on. Over here we've got single shadows, single shadows. I think I'm okay for single shadows. We have red lipsticks. I still have a red lipstick in my basket, and I really want to do red for Valentine's Day. Should I pull another red lipstick? Hmm. Yep, let's let's do it. <laughs> I kind of want to pull this one. This is the ColourPop and Sophia Nygaard Fred shade, so I'm going to pull this one. These are all green lipsticks. These are all nude lipsticks. I think, should I pull a nude? Yeah, let me pick one nude to pull. 
I'm really leaning towards these YSL stains. They're like really, really deep nudes on me, but they look very pretty and they're super comfy. So I'm gonna pull both of these. All right, and down here is just all the other different color lipsticks that I have. And I think we're good for lipstick now. So let's move into the Alex drawers. All right, so the first drawer, we've got primers, we've got concealers and setting sprays. I think we're good for primer. Yeah, we're good for primer. Let me pull a concealer. Okay, I wanna pull these concealers out. I've got the Pat McGrath, and then I've got two of the Tarte Hydra Sealers. These haven't been working for me, you know, fantastic since I've gotten them. Uh, so I wanna test them out again, see if I like them any better. And if not, I might just be using them as um, eye primers. And I think we're good for this drawer. So let's move on to drawer number two. Alrighty, so we've got foundations, uh, face powders, and some individual bronzers and contours. I want to pull one of these Stay Matte powders in 001 to use after I run out of my other powder. So we'll pull that. Do I want to pull another foundation? See, I think I'm good. Well, actually, I'm going to finish that BB cream from Wet n Wild fairly soon, right? Hmm... Part of me wants to pull out this Pixie just to finish it because I did cut it open. So I think I'm going to do that, even though like I just put this back. <laughs> okay, and then I think we are good here in uh, foundations. <laughs> Moving down to highlighters and blushes. Ooh, there's so many, so many to choose from. <laughs> I kind of want to do a cream blush. Let's see, leaning towards, <gasps> nope, let's do, let's do the Fenty cream blush because that one is so pretty, if I can open it. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. I love that. So let's bring that in. And do I have any other, I do have that loose blush. So we got a loose, we got a cream. Let's do a regular powder blush, you know, shake it up. <laughs> let's do this one from Cover Effects. Oh, I might help if I hold it in front of the camera, huh? Let's do this one from Cover Effects. All right, now for highlighter, do I want to pull a palette? I'm kind of leaning towards pulling a palette, so let me pull these out. Let's look at the palettes I have back here. Got a lot of ABH. <laughs> you know, I kind of want to use this high, this uh, Wet n Wild one. It's very pretty and versatile, so let me. I'm going to pull this one in. Okay, so we're good here. Now for our last drawer, the face palette drawer. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What am I leaning towards? What am I feeling? You know what? I know what I'm feeling. I kind of really want to pan this. So this is the, um, I believe, last hourglass product that I own. This is the Ambient Lighting Unlocked palette. I think it was from Holiday 2019, if I believe correctly. I did a video, I originally had both of the Holiday palettes and I ended up giving up, giving away one of the other palettes and I only kept this one. I no longer support Hourglass and I do kind of want to finish this up. So I think I'm going to bring this one in and see um, how much use I can get out of it for this month. So that is everything in the Alex drawers. Let's pivot slightly and go to the eyeshadow palette bookshelf for some goodies. Oh, how pretty is that top? <laughs> I'm just so happy with how this turned out. Anyway, let's go to the eyeshadow. Okay, so looking here, what am I feeling? I've got those quads that I'm gonna finish up. Well, finish using for now so I can film that video. I've got a purple palette. I have that cool, I have cool tones cool neutral tones. I, I think what we need are some pops. Ooh, I, I think I've got just the thing. This is a very neutral palette, but it's very pretty and I think Valentine's-y. Like this is <laughs> a not conventional Valentine's palette, but I love it. This is from Lunatic Cosmetics Labs and I just, I love their whole aesthetic and I really wanna use this palette. So let's bring in this one. And should we do one more? What's this? Let's, Take a look at the Scorpio palette. Hmm. 
trying to think what other kind of tones am I looking for what other shades do I want I know I have been neglecting this palette since I got it and I think it's finally time to bring it out. This is the Crystal Zodiac from BH Cosmetics and it's very pretty. I really adore the original Zodiac palette. The Zodiac Love Signs was pretty good though not my favorite and I really need to test out this one and do, I think I'm going to do a three looks one palette with it. So let's pull this bad boy in. Okay so that is everything for my shop, my stash. Let me put all of my products away into my basket and then we'll be back for the final reveal. Alrighty, so we're back to the basket with everything in. So we've got our eyeliner up here, we've got our lipsticks right over there, and then we've got our new Milk Mascara. Our first drawer has our new Milk ma Mascara, <laughs> our new Milk Foundation, the Pixie uh, Technically Beauty Balm, uh, and then we have the Skin Active BB Cream. We've got the Wet n Wild BB Cream. We've got our face powders up here along with our loose powder, and then our concealers and the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Drawer number two has our Pan That palette with the lashes, the blushes, the highlighter palette, the other blush, and then the face palette. Drawer number three just has our two big eyeshadow palettes, the Crystal Zodiac and the Sephora Pro Cool palette. And last but not least, we have our final drawer with just some electronics over here and my Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Heart palette and the Nightingale palette from Pretty Vulgar. So that is everything I'm going to be using in the month of February. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you're going to be using in February. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.